In this video, we're talking about the key questions that you should ask when you go to a university open day. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a list of the key things that you need to be asking those university representatives to make sure that you choose the right degree. And while we have this little chat, I'm gonna be showing you around Lake Argyle in Western Australia. This place is pretty extraordinary. Australia's biggest freshwater lake. And behind me, right there, is the Ord River Dam. Pretty extraordinary construction that we'll have a look at as well. And that's kind of symbolic, right? Because going to university open days is going to open a barrage of questions. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. No, I'm, I'm really sorry. Let's get into the video. Good idea. How good is this? Oh. Yeah, it's awesome. One of the key questions to ask at university open days is about the extracurricular opportunities that are available to you. Because yes, of course, you're gonna end up with a degree and degrees are important in terms of helping you find a job. But when you really wanna stand out in that interview process and when you're putting in a resume, it's all the extra stuff on your resume that really counts. So you wanna be asking, are there internships available? Are there volunteering opportunities? Leadership programs? Are there career development opportunities? Are there overseas study programs? Those are absolutely amazing on your resume. All of these things are excellent extracurricular opportunities and you wanna know what's available at that particular institution before you decide to choose it. You certainly wanna ask about class sizes in the courses that you're thinking of studying at. Now bear in mind, in first year, you're more likely to have large lectures because everyone has to go through the same basic foundational courses like Business 101 or Biomed 101. All of those classes, you're gonna have literally hundreds of students in them. So big lectures, Often transitioning to online nowadays, some of those big classes have got a lot more online content than ever before. So you wanna know what you're getting into because if you're signing up for a degree, one of the greatest things about the degree is being in a classroom, getting to meet new people and actually having the opportunity to talk firsthand with lecturers and tutors as well as other, other students. But if it's all taught online, the chances to do that are more limited. Ask about class sizes and ask about the breakdown of online versus in-person tuition. Going to an open day is something that's a little bit daunting, and so what I've done is actually prepared you a whole worksheet which you can download at choosingyouruni.com that tells you and gives you all the key questions that you wanna ask and the things that you wanna look out for. So make sure you download that worksheet. It's gonna save you heaps of time and make things much, much easier for you on open day. This is the original Durack family homestead. It's been moved here to the Lake Argyle Resort after the original homestead location was flooded out when they built the dam. Another thing, well, let's, let's get on back to you, back to you and back to talking about unis. When you go to open days, you're gonna find heaps of current students who are there to provide you information about various degrees. Make sure you get hold of one of those students, preferably one that's actually studying the degree that you wanna take and ask them a bunch of questions. Obviously, you wanna ask them about what the positives are in the degree, the things that are the most fun, the most surprising thing, the things that they weren't expecting when they did that degree but that they now know. Ask them about the kinds of opportunities that they've taken as part of that degree. But also ask about the negatives because you never know if there are some things in there that may be important to you, at least to know. But once again, choose based on the positives that align with you, not based on the negatives. So if chess is really important to you and the university has an amazing chess club, that's a good selection criteria for you. On the other hand, if the library isn't so good and you don't really care so much about that, it's not a reason not to choose a particular institution. So always choose an institution based on the strengths that align with you and your interests. This is the infinity pool at the Lake Argyle Resort. This is pretty extraordinary. One of the most beautiful infinity pools in all of Australia. Something else you should think about asking the university is about the careers that people doing that particular degree can end up with. Because you might be amazed at the sorts of things that you can do with the degree in question. One of the amazing things about university is that you get to discover some of the most unbelievable career paths that are out there. I ended up in international education. My job was sending people on overseas study programs, which was just an amazing thing to know. I didn't even know that job existed. So make sure you ask an open day, what are some of the more unique careers that students from that degree have ended up with? This is the Kimberley Durack Sunset Cruise on Lake Argyle. It's spectacular out here. I'll drop in some footage of some of the great stuff that we've seen. Another thing to think about is the rankings of the universities and student satisfaction. All that data is available on an Australian government website and I'll drop the link in 
down below. But the people that you talk to at Open Day should be able to give you that the statistics for the course that you've chosen. And so you want to know um, student satisfaction ratings. You also want to know graduate employment satisfaction ratings. So basically, the people who are employing the degree that you know, students have of the degree that you want to do, what they think of the graduates, because that gives you a really good indication as to the quality of the degree. And that way you can accurately compare degrees at various institutions as you go. And they should be able to tell you because you can find all that info right on choosingyouruni.com as well. Link down below. What are some of the other key questions you need to ask at Open Day? The next question is a little bit cheeky. And I really think you should ask university staff, what is a comparable degree at another university? The reason this is such a good question is because, firstly, it's going to give you some ideas about other universities you might want to consider, but it also allows you to test the knowledge of the people that you're talking to. Good university staff, particularly faculty staff, will be aware of their competing unis, other universities around that have similar programs. They'll also be aware of what the strengths and weaknesses of those other universities are relative to their own program. So in asking them, how does this degree compare to the similar degree at a different university, you're going to get some really interesting insights. Taking this a step further, you should also ask faculty staff in particular, what are the particular specialisations for their university? So let's say you are studying history. Well, there's lots of different types of history, aren't there? There's ancient history, there's Greek ancient history, there's Roman ancient history, there's modern history, there's indigenous history, there's all different sorts of history. So if you have an interest in history, that's almost not specific enough. What you really want to know is what are the specialisations inside the discipline that this particular university is good at. You can then back up a step and say, okay, well, what specialisations are available at other universities? And in that way, you start to have a really broad understanding of the different specialisations, the special topics that a particular university is strong at. Now that doesn't mean that when you're signing up for a degree you need to choose the exact specialisation that you'll follow, we typically call that a major, but it does start to give you some clues as to what sorts of things you might end up studying in later years.